Hallmark with sandwiches, good bread, good ingredients. Can you make me a sandwich? Princess the Bear here, we're at Universal Studios in front of Islands of Adventure today because we want some bread. We want things in between bread. So it's your number one choice of foodie infotainment. Remember, she's vegan. I'm not. Let's go on a little adventure today. Let's go get some blondies. You heard the girl. Before we head to Blondie's, we have one stop to make. A little detour and a hint to bring you this little plant door we have back here. Let's go. We picked up a magical shelby. That's our magical tool for having fun at Blondie's. And we're getting vegan eggs. Yeah. Plant-powered vegan eggs. Hence yeah. the vegan part. Yeah. sandwich with the white bread and they just charge you for whatever random thing they decide. Today it was the smoked turkey but they need a veggie button on the register. That's all they need. Um, first you saw us at Captain America Diner so we went over there and we um, got some veginaise, actually two veginaise uh, from the manager Brandon and Lewis another team member helped us out too so thank you both. Um, and then Julie here at Blondie's made us this beautiful sandwich. We left off some olives because Princess does not prefer them and that's fine. Um, so we'll probably just cut this in half, dress it, and then maybe I'll put olives on my half and then we'll go from there. So this is gonna be fun. Not the greatest sandwich cutter. If anyone's noticed, I'm not really great with cutlery or eating food in front of people. <laughs> at least it's not pasta. It is not pasta, <laughs> so at least there's that part. The bread's not that tough, it's really just this knife. And also that I can't use my hands. <laughs> you gotta make a reel of just me trying to like do things with food. I think people would find it to be hilarious. There we go. Perfect. Oop. Cross section. All right. Oops. I'm dropping things. I do clean up my messes though, so if there's something to know about me. I will not leave a table with us. Do you have a napkin? Sorry. Sorry, princess. I'm still on your napkins. I don't want to get like all the lettuce and stuff in the veggies. <laughs> Now, if you guys remember, I'm a sauce person. <laughs> I like a lot of sauce. Which is why we asked for two things of this instead of one, just in case. All right. That's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I guess I'll use my hands. <laughs> How to be awkward 101. Just watch me. <laughs> All right, that's good enough, I guess. I'll we'll be here all day, guys. Okay. Oh, I didn't put mustard. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Veginase is what matters. Right. Let me not eat over that. That is crisp and refreshing. Um, I don't have any complaints about this, other than I did put mustard on it, and that's entirely my fault. Um. Yeah, I don't know why Universal doesn't just add a veggie button. <laughs> Please. I would like to order this easier and also not make it look like I'm ordering a turkey sub or a tuna sub. Just, I just want the veggies. And I I feel like that's one thing that's maybe lacking as an option, right? Like I, we have a lot of veggie forward items, but not with bread. Bread, add the veggies here. I mean, that's like an e another easy option in islands. So come order these and maybe maybe someone will 
make something happen. Here we have the most beautiful sandwich I've ever seen in a theme park. This is loaded and huge and made quickly. I am excited to sauce it proper. I appreciate Shelby for taking one for the team and assembling hers first so that I wouldn't forget to put mustard. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a little bit more. <laughs> We have a nice little sauce action happening here. I totally stole your knife too. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I know Shelby asked about the sandwich not being on the menu, but I also want to know why we have to go to either Wimpy's or Captain America to get vegan A's and why it's also not available here when it's all everywhere. So come on Universal, let's, let's make Blondie's cool again. Cheers. That is really good. Definitely the best theme park sandwich I've had across any park. Like, Disney really needs to take notes on this. Boardwalk Deli is not as good as this. 100%. If you want a sandwich and you're in the parks, you need to come here. If you're at Studios and you want a sandwich, you need to come here. If you're at City Walk and you need a sandwich, you should still come here. I know that bread box is outside, but this is really good. I'm gonna give it a 4.75 out of five. It gets minus points for not being on the menu already. With this creation of this sandwich, we are manifesting a change in the Universal menus. We are manifesting that one day, we may reach somebody that works in Universal Food and Beverage to make more options for everybody. Did we have to walk through two lands to assemble this sandwich? Yes, but Universal already has everything it needs in Toon Island to make this sandwich. You just need to bring the vegan aids over to here and you'll serve vegans and vegetarians and give people a lighter fare option in the same store. Dagwoods, this whole Blondie's, everything in here just needs a little bit of paint and it needs this new. And the sandwich that's supposed to be packed all the time. People are looking for a light fare to theme park. They don't always want something grease heavy or anything else. So Universal, let, let us do the work for you. It makes itself. Hallmark with sandwich is good bread and good ingredients. And you often get in theme parks where everything feels like very much mass produced. The fact that they'll make their own fresh in front of you. Not really heard of at theme parks. Uh, you do get some like make your own stations, but like literally like pick each ingredient for a sandwich on good bread. That's an easy one. Like honestly, this place should be a lot more busy than it is, and it would be if you serve the vegan and vegetarian community an option, and they'll eat it. They'll eat it all. Of them. And this 4.25 out of 5 clause, I can do with a bit of a longer option sandwich for those of us that eat like bears. Other than that, I really don't have any complaints. Other than the fact that I had to walk in two lands to do it, you get what you get. So Blondie's follows a Dagwood comic strip, and it's basically, this is their signature sandwich, the mound sandwiches. If you've ever read Dagwood and Blondie's and like, you've seen them create a sandwich, it's stack upon stack. I find it very curious, even though like they have like a make your own sandwich station, the Dagwood, their signature sandwich, is pre-made, put in the freezer, the refrigerator. I imagine they like make one big long one and then just cut it, because that's easier, but it'd also be nice to get it made fresh. Uh, you got the turkey, you got uh, two different types of cheese on here. You have a cheddar, you have a roast beef, you have a Swiss, uh, and turkey and ham as well, tomato. No dressing. It is served to you bone dry, which is probably for the best, so that it's not a soggy mess by the time it does come out of the fridge. But I am gonna vigorously apply some mustard. I am not usually a mayo person on my sandwiches. If I get mayo, it's going to be extremely, extremely light mayo. Like, you could probably just wave your hand over the mayo towards my sandwich and it would probably almost be 
too much for me. Mustard, however, it can drip from the sides. Ooh. Uh, so now that I've attacked the camera with this packet of mustard, is it did like a U-turn and flew right back at me. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of mustard. I'm even afraid to open more mustard at this point. But we're gonna try to eat this as Dagwood would. Whole. With the olive on top. I'm gonna unhinge my little jaw here. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. Because I will definitely end up biting into that. And load her in. Uh, I'm actually surprised. I expected that to be absolutely awful being refrigerated. But it's actually still quite fresh. The bread isn't soggy or hard. The cold cuts, nice and cold cut. The cheese doesn't feel like it's been sitting or like hardening like that. All that's really missing is the sauce. And obviously, you can't pre sauce sandwich put it in the fridge. You get all the fixings here. You get sandwiches from anywhere from like eleven to thirteen dollars. Like this would be my preferred theme park meal. Especially if I'm walking around the Florida heat, I don't want something super heavy. I don't want super greasy. This is the balance for me. I need more love shown to this place. I know that Toon Lagoon, the whole place, is a, it's a bit dated. Let's be real. And I have in several videos thrown shade at the fact that it probably needs some level of refurb or a change. But even if you change this entire thing, you keep the sandwich up. Four out of five points. Do I look more blonde? No. No, I can hope. Sandwiches are good. Blondies needs more love. It needs the veganaise. I need you guys to let Universal know and whatever you can by buying more, asking for the veganaise every time you go in there. Let them know that you want more options for vegan and vegetarians. A big thank you to Shelby at Universal Orlando Vegans for sharing this hack with us yes. and letting us come with her to enjoy the food. I am surprisingly full, like happy and comfortably full. Yes. Now, if you have your own hacks you do here at Universal that you'd like to see us put to video, be there vegan or not, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you can see us do, of course, that's always in a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, maybe Bear will just go swim in the lake and get banned and never come back. And Instead of doing more food reviews. Maybe maybe that'll happen if you don't comment. As a Floridian that has swam in a lot of disgusting retention ponds, I'm not doing that. You heard the girl.